All right, a couple of quick definitions before we uh, continue with more complicated uh, truth tables. Um, real quick, there are some times when compound statements, when you build a truth table, will either be all true in the whole column or all false in the whole column. Okay, and here's a couple uh, so definitions here to describe that a tautology is a compound statement that's always true, the whole column in the truth table. No matter what, uh, no matter whether the uh, simple statements are true or false, or what combination, it comes down to all trues in the uh, truth table in that whole column for that statement. That would be a tautology. A self-contradiction is one in which they are always false. Okay, the whole column in the table is false, all Fs. All right, and those can happen. We can build those up. In fact, I'll show you a couple um, kind of simple examples here in a moment. Um, an implication is specifically a conditional statement that's a tautology. Okay, so it's got to be an if-then, or an equivalent, um, and it has to be uh, all trues in the column, in the truth table. Okay, so just a real, real basic example of a tautology um, is you have P, which of course can be either true or false, and you have not P, which is the opposite, right? False and true. Okay, and then let's say we had P or not P. Oh, that's and, ha. Or, let's do a disjunction, okay? A disjunction here. So remember, disjunction is true whenever one or the other is true or both, but it's only false when both are false. Well, on this table here, P or not P? Well, we don't have any row in which both P and not P are false. And so in both cases, we have true disjunction, right? We have, a, as long as one or the other is true, then the whole statement, the, the disjunction is true. So P or not P is a uh, true, is a tautology because it's true everywhere. All right, that's like saying, um, you know, uh, I'm either at Delta College or not at Delta College, right? If P is being at Delta College. So um, I'm either at Delta or I'm not at Delta. Well, that's definitely true, no matter what, no matter where I am, I'm either there or I'm not, right? Um, so that would be a tautology, a disjunction with a statement and its negation. Um, in addition to that, we could look at the conjunction of a statement with its own negation. Okay, and now remember, conjunction occur is, is true, uh, truth occurs when both um, simple statements are um, are true, right, and false everywhere else. So it just takes one of those to be false for the whole thing to be false. Well, notice here there are no cases where they're both true. One is false, or the other is false, and so this is going to be false everywhere in the table, okay, in the column, I should say. And so this is an example of a self-contradiction. That's like saying, I am at Delta College and I'm not at Delta College. Well, I can't be at two places at once, right? You've heard that phrase before. Being at two places at once would be a self-contradiction. Um, being at Delta and not at Delta at the same time, okay? Um, so that would be an example of a self-contradictory statement. Anything that is false in the entire column and anything that is true in the entire column is an example of a tautology, okay? Um, so let's look at uh, a couple more examples, and not necessarily tautologies and self-contradictions, but um, anything. We'll, we'll develop a, a few uh, more complicated implications. I'm sorry, not implications. A few more complicated um, conditionals, and we'll see. Maybe they do fall into one of these categories. Um, so let's say I had um, P and Q are my two simple statements, and perhaps we have something like um, hmm, not P implies, uh, oh, I don't know, P or not Q something like that. 
All right, so let's just see what happens here. I don't know, I'm making something up on the fly, obviously, and hesitating to write this. So uh, let's just look at P and Q. We got P and we've got Q, and let's make our table. Now what I'm noticing when I'm going through the textbook on these is that they tend to put P and Q, all the initial simple statements in the same um, column. It doesn't matter, I was kind of separating them off, but either way. So P is uh, true, true, false, false. Q will be da, 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 true, false, true, false. Okay, so remember, uh, we just try to get all the different combinations there uh, at the beginning. And then, so that's PQ. Now I need, as I look at this, I want the to go in reverse order of dominance of the uh, connectives. So I'm looking at the negations first. So I see not P and not Q are both included. So they get their own column. And then I also need the conjunction, the stuff in parentheses would be next. So it'd be P and not Q. And then I also need the entire um, conditional. And so that would be not P, uh, if not P, then P and not Q. All right, so there's my truth table, the, the setup of it. And now as I fill this in, um, we see not P is the opposite of P. So I want false, false, true, true. Not Q is the opposite of Q. So it'd be false, true, false, true. P and not Q. Remember a conditional is true when both simple statements are true. So I want P, I want not Q. They both have to be true in order for the conditional to be true. It only appears once in the second row and everything else will be false. <clears throat> the um, conditional statement then, remember conditionals are only false when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false, right? You have to have a true false in order to yield a false. Um, every other combination is true. So I want a true in the not P column and a false in the conditional, not the conditional, the conjunction column and to get a true and a false, it happens twice here and here, or yeah, rows three and four. So those are both false. Anywhere that the, um, the negation of P is false, we're gonna have true conditionals okay, associated with that. So true, true, false, false um, is going to be Yeah, it's going to be the truth table there. Okay, so good. That gives us uh, gives us our solution. Fills out our full truth table. Now let's try another one. Let's see. Now this one obviously is neither a tautology nor a self contradiction. So it's all and it's also not an implication because it is a conditional, but it's not a tautology. We'd have to have all trues there to be a tautology. All right, let's try another one. Um, I'm going to switch out colors here. Uh, let's see. Let's try. Oh, my green doesn't work. I feel like that's the second time that's happened. I've got another green in here. Um, yes, that one. That one looks good. Let's do P or Q. Um, and not Q implies P. 
right? Yeah, let's try that. Let's see. So on this one, again, I need both P and Q to start. Um, I also need not Q, but I don't need not P. Not P doesn't show up, so I don't need that one. So I need not Q. Um, now I go in order of dominance again. I got P or Q in parentheses, so let's go with that one next. Let's do the conjunction here, because um, that's in brackets, so that would be the next, next one we're looking at. P or Q and not Q. And then finally, the conditional on the outside here, the final statement, P or Q and not Q. All right, so that should be the structure of our truth table. Uh, now let's go through the columns here. So P like normal is true, true, false, false. Q is true, false, true, false. Not Q is the opposite of that. It'd be false, true, false, true. Uh, P or Q. Well, remember P or Q, that's going to be false anytime they're both false, but true everywhere else. So false right there, and then true everything else. So as long as something is true, the disjunction is true. Now I've got a conjunction, a conjunction, disjunction, uh, conjunction with a disjunction and a negation. Ugh, that's hard to say. Uh, and a conjunction is true only when both uh, parts are true. So I need true and true in these two columns. I have that in the third row or second row. So that's true. It's a conjunction. So as long as one of them is false, the whole thing will be false. And then I have the conditional where I take the antecedent and remember the antecedent must be true and the consequent, which is in P, must be false in order for the conditional to be false. Everywhere else it's true. All right, so if, first of all, if the antecedent is false, the conditional is automatically true, right? So false, false, false. Those are three trues. True, true, true. And with a um, conditional if the antecedent is true and the consequent is also true, you have a true statement as well. Aha! Here I have a tautology. This one's always true. This statement then is true no matter what the original two statements are. If the two statements are both false, this statement is still true. Crazy, um, <clears throat> but that can happen. If the, you know, no matter what you have here, a uh, combination of trues and false, this will always be true. It is a tautology, and therefore, because it's also a uh, conditional statement, meaning its most dominant connective is a conditional, uh, then it's also an implication. So this statement is an implication. Okay, so it's always true. Um, interesting. So if, if I had an example here, um, I don't know, what could we say for P and Q? Um, P is uh, I'm at Delta and Q is it's sunny outside. I don't know, it is sunny outside, but um, so if I said I am at Delta and Q is, it is sunny outside. 
those are two different statements, right? They're both, you know, they're either true or false. Well, if I said, I am at Delta or it is sunny outside and it's not sunny outside, then I am at Delta. Interesting. Um, so that kind of makes sense. If you have this combination of P and Q or P or Q, so it's got to be one or the other, right? Well, it's not this one, so it has to be that one. Interesting. That's a true statement. So if I'm at Delta and it's sunny, I'm sorry, if I'm at Delta or it's sunny outside and I know it's not sunny outside, then I must be at Delta. That's a true statement. That's a tautology. That's always true. Even if I wasn't at Delta, even if it wasn't sunny outside, this statement, regardless, will always be true. Okay.